Hi, it's Dave from Megapoints Controllers. At the beginning of February 2025, we shared some love for the System 2 solenoid driver in the form of a little hardware and software update. So this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. If you take the update from the 12th of February, um, you'll notice there's a little efficiency mode option appears. Let's talk through the update. So if I go into update firmware and view full history, then we can read about it here. So on this update, um, you get a randomized boot delay. That's to stop all of your boards trying to connect to the Wi-Fi at the same instant. So, you know, it probably if you have 20, 30 boards or more, um, it's just a little kinder to your Wi-Fi to uh, hopefully stagger their connection. Um, the efficiency mode, uh, which requires hardware version 1.2 or later. Now we started shipping 1.2 boards uh, end of January, early February. So if you're lucky enough to have one, brilliant. If you put this software on an earlier board, it'll just ignore the efficiency mode. And what happens is um, when the solenoid driver is running, it's powered from a 12 volt power supply. So what we do is we have a charge pump circuit that then boosts that up to 18 to 20 volts, charges the reservoir capacitor, which it then can dump into your uh, point motor when you trigger it. That means the charge pump is permanently on, permanently grinding away, loading up or increasing the voltage and consuming power. So with the efficiency mode, what that does is that allows us to, let me go back to that page, that allows us to uh, turn the charge pump off and it will automatically come on when it's needed. So when you press a button on the point, it will then charge it straight up to the voltage and then fire that point. So there's about a third of a second delay. So if you can't tolerate pressing a button and waiting a third of a second, then you can turn the efficiency mode off as shown here, and uh, it'll go back to the way the other boards work. It will always be on. And you can see the capacitor charge now here has risen to 19 volts. If I put efficiency mode back on, it'll start dropping. In fact, if I fire one, I'll empty it straight away. And what's it gone down to? 9.7. So around 10 volts is where the, the capacitor is uh, sitting. And then if I press a button, three, two, one, press, it charges up, fires, you heard the fire, and then goes back down. Can you hear it again? Press and back. Um, I'll put the uh, camera in front of a scope and you can uh, you can see what's happening with the charge voltage. So this is the current capacitor charge voltage here and it's currently sitting at uh, about 10 volts, uh, uh, 10.2 volts. So as I fire a solenoid this voltage will rise, discharge all the way down to zero volts and then come back and rest at 10 volts. So I'm going to press the button, three, two, one, press. So this is the 10 volts that the uh, capacitor sees and then it charges when I press the button here, charges up to the uh, 16, 18 volts, fires, which drops it down to zero volts, and then it comes back up and rests in a discharged state. Let's do that again. This time I'll fire all four. One, two, three, four. And you can see they're all charging and then it goes back to rest. Now, if I turn the efficiency mode off, we'll wait for the screen to clear. Turn it off now. You see it charges straight away and now it sits in the fully charged position. So when I press a button now, it will fire immediately and then reach and then charge. So I'm going to press the button three, two, one now. The button fires instantly, three, two, one, now. So that's the normal operation. I'll fire them all. It still takes as long to get through the cycle of four because it has to charge three more times. But uh, the difference is if I put efficiency mode back on, see on the screen it's currently at 19.1 volts. I'll turn efficiency mode on and now the voltage will start to fall till it gets to its uh, resting voltage.
and now you can see it's at its uh, resting voltage which is the supply voltage. I hope that was uh, of use and interest to you. Uh, one last thing, if you mouse over the uh, efficiency mode you'll get a tooltip that does explain it to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next System 2 update video.